Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, we've been doing a review of Aquarium Live Wallpaper. Uh, a lot of people, in, you know, have seen this live wallpaper in some of my modding videos and they're like, hey man, what mo wallpaper is that? So I decided to do a review. Uh, keep in mind, there is a paid version and a free version. I'll put a link to both of them in the description below. Uh, I'll, do re I'll be doing a review on the paid version. So basically, right off the bat, you'll notice that um, even though I only have three screens, the fact that the uh, screens don't pan around too quickly the uh, Aquarium Live wallpaper itself is pretty small. Uh, the fish look fantastic. They're 3D animated. They look great. Uh, it's not just fish, actually. You got a turtle over here, a seahorse. Uh, you can see this jellyfish over here. I think a shark in the background. So you have an assortment of uh, sea life creatures. At, but the one thing I'm a little disappointed off, you guys are probably noticed, is that the background is 2D. It's just flat. It's not 3D, whereas a lot of live wallpapers nowadays are becoming more advanced in terms of animation and design. The fish and uh, sea creatures look fantastic. The background is very dull and flat. Um, so by simply tapping on something, you'll notice that this, you know, some way faster. And if you double tap the screen, you'll see these food pellets start to drop and the fish go up and start eating them. So it's a nice little animation. You can keep feeding them, you know. Uh, and again, tapping them makes them like fly, uh, swim away quickly. I guess they get scared or something. Not this guy, I guess he's tough. Alright, no, not that one. Anyway, so uh, let's go into the uh, features of the live wallpaper. That's probably what you guys want to see. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Nope. Okay, so one thing I like about the uh, settings menu of this live wallpaper is that you get the uh, option to see what changes are being made live. Uh, so let me give you an example, say um, overhead light, if I tap it, you'll notice that it's getting brighter and now it's off. A lot of wall, wall, live wallpapers, sorry, I'm getting my words mumbled, uh, when you make a change like that, you have to change the overhead light option, for example, then press back, like here, and then you can see the change. And if you don't like it, then you have to go back here and do it, whereas in this live wallpaper, you can see the changes being made live which to me is fantastic. Uh, a lot more de live wallpaper developers just start utilizing that feature. Um, so you got your bubbler, you can change how much bubbles come out, uh, overhead lighting, I showed you guys, props. Props is basically, um, the toys is like right here, you have this old school scuba diving gear, submarine. I'm gonna go through these rather quickly, you got this cannon. You guys can pause the video at any point if I go past it too quickly, you can just pause and see for yourself. Change the plants. I find that the regular plants are very uh, obstructive. They're too large and they get in the way of everything. I mean, if you own this live wallpaper, plan to buy it or get the free version, whatever you want to do is up to you. Um, but I find that the plants in general are kind of dull. There's not an assortment enough. I mean, they're limited to pink and green. That's it. You can't get like nice rich colors of coral or whatever. You, you can't get an assortment of colors going around. And the plants in general are just too obstructive. They're like right in the way of everything. So I prefer to turn them off. Uh, background. You get some preset backgrounds. Again, all of them are 2D. Very flat and boring. Uh, and of course you can add a custom image. If you press custom, it says uh, Recommended is 1024 by 1024 image. I'm not going to put one because, again, this is going to put a... Did it freeze on me? Yes, it did. Okay, there we go. Uh, because it's just going to add a, one of my pictures from my gallery, which, again, is just 2D. It's going to be flat. And as for the fish, um, you'll see a list over here. This is how many fish you can have in total. Um, and question mark basically means random. And if you select one, say the turtle, I want to change it to one of these. This is how many fish you can choose from. So again, it's not limited to just fish, you get like turtles, jellyfish, sharks, uh, seahorse, and of course random. So, or you can just leave it blank, you can turn it off. Obviously if your phone's a bit slower, the less fish you have, uh, the smoother the live wallpaper will run. But if you're running a device from like say within the last year or so, the last, you know, 12 months, you could probably turn them all on and your phone will run just fine. Uh, it shouldn't lag at all. So, uh, on Google Play, this uh, live wallpaper has a rating of 4.6 from users. I would personally give it a rating of 4, uh, simply beca because, rather, as mentioned, the background is very dull. It's just 2D, that's it. Uh, fish and, you know, sea creatures, they look fantastic 3D, but the background is very dull and basic. The props are very limited, you only get one prop here, so, let me go back. 
You only get this one prop here. Uh, you don't get another one here. You don't get another one here or there. Like you only, you're only limited to one at the bottom. That's it. And of course, plants, as mentioned and shown, they're very obstructive and they're kind of dull as well. So with some improvements, this app could easily be a five. Uh, but considering there's a lot of competition in terms of aquarium live wallpapers available, um, the developer needs to pick up their game, just get a bit more 3D rendering in the background, and I think that will make this wallpaper like a, a, probably a 5 out of a 5. So if you found this video useful, check out my website in the description below, hit the like button, it does help, subscribe, and thanks for watching.